Hi, Dee Dee Explores here. We're going to find the grave of John Brady. He was a decorated Revolutionary War hero. There was a fort named after him. And he's the earliest interment in this cemetery, as far as I know, in 1779. Come along. Okay, we found the cemetery. The uh, headstone for John Brady should be here. He was a captain in the Revolutionary War, decorated hero. He was one of the biggest landowners in Lycoming County. Um, he fought alongside George Washington. He went outside the fort to get some supplies one time. He was less than a quarter mile away from the fort. He was attacked by Indians and killed. Scalped, to be exact. There's a fort named after him. Sadly, there's nothing left of the fort. Everything was burned down years ago. But maybe we can find his tombstone here. There aren't too many tombstones. Let's go see. Well, this is unusual. I've never seen this in a cemetery. For though we sleep or wake, or roam or ride, a fifth of time will no man bide. Though art, O oh Lord, the life and light of all this wondrous world we see. Hmm. That one says East. Uh, it's hard. Even something stood a hill amongst the departed. That's worn off pretty good. I'm having trouble reading that. But the entrance to this cemetery is really nice. I mean, look at this fence. It's gorgeous. I'm sure the wood and the, the little roof there has been replaced at some point in time. But look at this. Beautiful. This cemetery does have steps going down to the road, but it is so overgrown, like there's, it's impossible to climb. But here's the entrance, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go across the road for a minute, get a better picture of it. That wood looks pretty old. I don't know how old it is, but it's up there in age. Here we have two poor souls. And I mean poor. All they got were little rocks to mark where they're buried. Go see, maybe this is John Brady. So I know they said they said they had some kind of special marker for him. Maybe this is it. Nope. Henry Lebo. Oh wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yes, this is it. Captain John Brady. The original marker is long gone, I suppose, but there's his tombstone. 
They said he was an outstanding man. Very special man, they said. Okay, we got some big stones over here. And this one is kind of up a little bit. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, that name is so hard to see. Well, this is unusual. There's a stone with a whole bunch of bricks. I wonder what happened there that they had to repair it like that. The name. Oh, I can't even begin to make that out. It's just too, too worn. The fence around this cemetery is beautiful. I'm assuming it's original because it's just, the, worksman, the worksmanship is just great. I'm sure they repaired it at some point in time, but it's really gorgeous. Well, that's all I've got for this cemetery. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, it's a really nice place. It's just outside of Muncie, just kind of north of Muncie and John Brady Drive if you ever want to check it out. Okay, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, or you won't know what I've been up to. Hope to see you soon. Peace, baby.